Hi there, David from Sonance here, and in this video I'm going to cover a couple of advanced configuration steps when integrating my Sonance DSP amp with Savant. In the first video, I ran through all the necessary steps to configure the amplifier, as well as building it into a blueprint config powering four zones of distributed audio. Now I'm going to add a layer of complexity. I've decided to add a couple of outdoor speakers to cover my barbecue area. I want the barbecue area to be its own discrete zone, separate from the patio area. To do this, I'm going to leverage the amp's ability to drive a 4 ohm load with two speakers in parallel. The patio and the barbecue zones will run in mono, which is perfectly acceptable for this application, and may even be preferred depending on the distance between the speakers. I'm going to revisit the input-output settings tab and make a couple of changes. First. I'll rename the two outputs to reflect that output for left is driving the patio zone and output for right is now driving my new barbecue zone. I'm also going to change these channels from stereo to mono. This will combine the left and right channels of whatever source is active in the zone. If I don't do this, I'll only hear the left channel signals in the patio and the right channel signals in the barbecue. Now I need to separate the barbecue zone into its own group, so I'll move it from group D to group E. Now the barbecue zone can switch sources and ramp volume independent of the patio zone. I'll add a barbecue zone and speakers to my config and blueprint. I can see here that blueprint currently shows that all my assigned speaker outputs are occupied. Down below, every physical speaker output is listed. I need to inspect the amp and reassign the physical outputs to groups. Under Assigned IOs, I'll scroll to the outputs and I can see that E, F, G, and H have no channels assigned to them. I'm going to select the stereo pair under Group D and hit Delete. This will place it back in the drawer on the right. Now I'll grab Output 4 left and assign it to Group D, and I'll grab Output 4 right and assign it to Group E. Now the Blueprint config matches my amps configuration and my barbecue and patio zones can be controlled independently of one another. Now let's say for instance I want to add another amp to my project. I can do that, and now I've got 8 more channels of amplification to play with. I can use the loop outputs on the first amp to get my sources into the second amp. So I've essentially gone from a 4x4 audio matrix to a 4x8 audio matrix and in this case a 4x9 because I've broken two channels apart. Just keep in mind that the loop outputs are bound to the inputs above them, and adding amps this way won't add more inputs that can be distributed to all zones. As a final step, I'm going to add another audio source. Now, currently I've got a single Savant Music stream in my config. Let's say I want to use a streaming service such as Apple Music or some other service not readily available in the SMS device. I've got these three additional inputs to play with. I'll drag a Sonos port in and connect it to my second input. I want that source to be available to all zones, including the zones being driven off the second amp as well. So I'll make a connection between the first amp's output to digital coax port and the second amp's input to digital coax port. With this configuration, all nine of my zones will have access to both of these services, and I can add two additional services if needed in the future. I hope you found this video informative. Never hesitate to contact Sonance Technical Services for assistance with integrating our amplifiers. Thanks for watching.